Hi, everybody. I know I haven't been on in a while. Um, I'm not sure um, if I'm even going to post this. Um, and I'm not sure. I know there's different things. You guys know I'm so computer illiterate. Um, I'm not sure if this is quote unquote a blog or whatever. I know people do blogs um, where you're just talking. So I assume this is a blog. Um, I haven't been on in a while because, you know, life and stuff and um, you know, um, you guys know a lot of us, we suffer with depression and anxiety and stuff like that. And I take medication for that. Like a lot of us do today, you know, there's just so much and working in a nursing home for 20 some odd years, um, just, you know, it can get to you. Um, and yeah, I don't know what I want to say. Just, you know, it sounds kind of weird, but you know, just mortality i guess death and dying and you know kind of like i know a lot of you probably won't watch this video but <laughs> it's just kind of um yeah i've had, had a lot of people over the years you know my own family my grandparents I, I had an uncle die young and um stuff like that and you know recently you know i, I mean you know 20 someone years working in a nursing home and there's been times i've wanted to give it up and you know i like my job i mean obviously there's times that you know whatever work you know certain people not necessarily residents or anything but you know co-workers and stuff you know there's always no matter what job you do you know there's co-workers whatever you have good days you have bad days one day you you know you're in hate with each other and the next day you love each other you know how it goes no matter what job um but yeah and then just uh you know losing patients that you fall in love with and uh, in just the last month or so, you know, we've had so many that have, you know, passed away and, you know, it's just, I've always had this fear, you know, since I was a kid of death, I would lay in bed at night just thinking, you know, after someone had passed away. Um, and as I get older, I'm going to be 42 February 10th. Um, what is it? I don't, I'm not even sure if there's 31 days in this month or I'm not sure. I never remember. Um, so what, 13 or 14 days away from today. Um, and yeah, so I wouldn't, even as a kid, I would just get, you know, when someone had passed my grandparents or whatever, and I would just think in bed, I've always been a thinker. That's why sometimes I can't sleep because I'm in bed. I'm, you know, I worry about bills, you know, and so I get older and when I was younger, you know, being picked on in school, you know, I would lay in bed and, you know, cry at night. Um, I was just thinking the other day, cause I hadn't thought about this a long time. We used to get picked on a lot in school, you know, kids on the bus our neighbor kids where we used to live um and you know this bus driver was nice i mean it seems kind of weird to say it. she was i mean she was nice but it's kind of weird to say it was nice but she would let us because we lived in a mobile home park and um you know she would back up the bus to the road we lived in you know it was a dirt road and you know the park was around um, but she used to open up the bus and let my brother and sister and I get off and run <laughs> halfway home before, you know, she would let the kids off that would always pick and beat on us. And, you know, they say karma. I hate to say karma because I don't want, you know, to see people pass and stuff. But um, the guy, well, guy now or was at the time, he passed away from um, actually getting into a bar fight and it rolled outside and he got pushed or you know they're fighting and he got you know punched or whatever and they're brawling and he got um pushed in front of a vehicle that was coming down the street and he got killed that way you know bullying somebody smaller than him and accidentally got pushed or whatever you know and that's how you know um like they say karma you know i mean you don't want to but yeah, but, you know, it's just, I know I'm kind of going off in tangents like I am, but yeah, just, you know, but when I was younger, I used to think, you know, cry, but, you know, stuff like that and death and, but yeah, lately it's just kind of been on my mind and, you know, the whole, it's scary, you know, you lay in bed and you're just kind of like, you know, what is after this? And I've always been in this mindset, you know, it's like I said, work gets you down sometimes and just life in general. And you're like, you know, I'm Catholic and we're supposed to believe there's something after this and, you know, we're going to go to heaven or, you know, if you've been bad, you know, or really bad, you know, I don't believe like back in the day where like you had to do everything right. I mean, you know, God doesn't expect, you know, I don't think, you know, knock on wood, there's a God. 
Um, I don't think he expects you to be, you know, 100% because, I mean, come on, this day and age, you know, I mean, we'd all be, you know, down. <laughs> um, but yeah, just don't go murder somebody or, you know, you know, lie every two seconds and, you know, whatever. I mean, I mean, you can always redeem yourself. And maybe not for murder, but, you know. Um, but yeah, just losing all these residents lately and stuff and just laying in bed. And, you know, that's, I mean, you know, there's things in life you can change, of course, but death is not one of them. And that's my biggest fear. And then, of course, just yesterday hearing about Kobe Bryant, you know, he passed away and he's 41. We're the same age. And it's just like, you know, with his daughter and helicopter crash. And, you know, you just never know. Um, I'm basically a homebody. So I don't fly, you know, too much or whatever. I've been on a plane and stuff, but um, you just don't know. I mean, how you're going to go, when you're going to go. Um, my coworker, speaking of that, um, she just lost her daughter. I had met the girl once. You guys know I um, donate a lot of stuff to um, my work for the activities and stuff like that to decorate and um, do with the, you know, art for the residents and stuff I get from Michaels and everything in the church. And um, she had helped me a couple a month or two ago to bring in some boxes that I got from Michael's. Um, um, Kathy, she was an aide, and then, you know, her back was giving her trouble and stuff. So she started working in activities, and her daughter was there one Saturday when I was off. And so I brought over some boxes. And um, she came out to the truck with me. She was nice enough to come out and help me bring in some boxes. And, you know, that's... I met her and then um, a week or so ago, I went into work and, um, you know, to find out that her daughter, she was only 18, had gotten a car accident and passed away. Um, she's not back at work yet. Um, I think she's supposed to be back on the 28th. Um, not sure how, but yeah, life is fleeting. I mean, you know. You just don't know. So, yeah, I lay in bed even the other night just thinking about, you know, it's like I'm sure all of you have at one point in your life or more, especially when you're, you know, because you don't know when it's a scary thought. And, um, yeah, I just, I'm kind of like, I want to get some religion, I guess. <laughs> I was never into the whole Bible study thing and all this stuff or just in general um to get back to what i was going to say a minute ago yeah i'm like i'm catholic we're supposed to believe in god and stuff and i'm all but i'm like you know if we actually knew you know there was nothing after this if you know if, if there wasn't if we knew like okay this is all there is you're born and you you know whatever um who would really choose to work and stuff i kind of you know i've said that before to other people when we have this you know they kind of fizzle up you know these deep conversations i can't even say and i can never say that physical you know word um you know i think we'd go back to kind of the old barter system we travel a piece of land and you grow your own food and you kind of work a little bit you know whatever but you trade us like i don't think anybody would really want to work for anybody else and you know be you know not that all bosses are terrible or anything like that but i think you would keep your elderly at home and you know as much as you could and i don't think we'd you know if you knew this is all there was um yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to, I think I want to start getting religion. I was never really into Bible studies in the last few days. I've kind of got out my Bibles. I had bought this one. I did, you know, like I said, I'm Catholic. I went to Catholic school and we went to church. And then when I was, a, you know, after I graduated high school, I stopped going. Um, I would go to Easter Sunday uh, once in a while and um, midnight mass. But I didn't even realize, like I bought this book just because I loved the cover and stuff. At a book sale they had at work, they bring in uh, books and stuff, um, like a store for the older people. And this is the New Testament. I didn't realize, I'm like, are they two separate books? And it's like, yes, they are, they are I guess. <laughs> you know, because there's, here's my other Bible, um, which basically I was just trying to read them. And there is a, like a, I'm not sure of the difference. Well, I know there's a difference, but which, you know, I'm like, I am a bad Catholic, I guess. <laughs> like there's a... There is an Old Testament and there is a New Testament. I'm not sure what that means. Like, obviously, one was written first. 
I mean, were they written at the same time? Was one written and then just kind of like years later, you know, in 1900, <laughs> you know, the old one was added on? How does that work? Um, I've never thought about Bible study and they've had all this Bible study stuff. You guys know I love crafting. Of course, if I'm going to do this, I need to go <laughs> to Michael's or not now because they don't have it and I can't afford it. I actually just put up a... Um, an ad on Craigslist to maybe get another roommate. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get into Bible studying. Um, so I'm going to try to find Bible study stuff, you know, like a book to do in a journal. And I'm actually going to try to find, I don't know where I can, but I try to read these, even the new one. I mean, it, just because it's new, it, you know, it's like, I can't understand it. I'm reading it and it's like the word, I can understand the words obviously and stuff, but you know, it's, it's the New Ver Testament, but it's, um, or not the New Testament, it's the King James Version, obviously, you know, it's for its layman. Um, but it's like, you know, it's still in the old kind of words and stuff. So it's kind of like I need one of those, you know, the Bible for dummies. Um, um, yeah, so I want to get some new Bibles, you know, that I can read. Um, I also want to look at other religions, I guess, and I want to look at deeper meanings and I want to look at, you know, how to live longer. <laughs> so I want to buy some books for men, you know, maybe not changing my diet per se. I mean, you know, that would help me live longer too. I'm not that I eat too much greasy food, I guess. I mean, I, you know, I probably eat too much, you know, being single and stuff. I probably eat too much, um, too much, what's the word? Processed. Um, so yeah, I want to start doing Bible studying, but I also want to look at other religions too. I want to look at what other people think, you know, what they think happens to us, other stories, you know, you hear about people that have passed away in operations and stuff that have come back, you know, and then of course doctors say it's, you know, anesthesia or whatever, you know, it's like, I just want to kind of read about that. And I do want to get some you know, books on health and stuff about, you know, how to live longer, because I want to live as long as I can, like I said. Um, yeah, like I said, this is just a tangent. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. I just kind of, you know, some, sometimes it just helps to talk. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to get into the Bible study, and I actually want to go and talk to a priest someday and just kind of, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have ever, you know, thought about this, you know, maybe talk to a priest and figure out where I'm going. If you guys, if you don't understand what I mean, like, you know, what I should read to understand more, I guess is what I'm saying, you know, like what they recommend for, you know, someone that's not, you know, I went to Sunday, and Sunday school and stuff, but I was never really religious per se. If that makes sense, like, you know, you went through the motions, but it wasn't like you really, you know, but as you get older, you're kind of like, you want to, I don't know. You kind of, you want to believe in something. So, yeah, I start, I want to start looking for Bible journaling, journaling stuff if I can find it. I don't know. It's just scary to think about. I, I don't know. I'm tripping over my words tonight. I'm not, you know, it's not an easy subject to just, like I said, I've lost so many patients and then, you know, other people, you know, close and, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm going to end it here and maybe I'll do another, you know, talking thing <laughs> later. I'm not, like I said, and this depression is, you know, so real and, you know, and of course, you know, money on top of that. And I think I told you guys before about this apartment, you know, it's like the rent's cheaper here, but, um, the landlord told me that, you know, the, cause it's an old Victorian that the, um, the rent or not the rent, but the electric heat would be so high. And I got the light bill this month. And for a lot of other people, it's like, you know, 50 to $75 in the winter. And I got a light bill that's, you know, $200 and like $60. And it's like with a truck payment. And, uh, you know, 
um, rent and, you know, everything else. It's like, you know, uh, talk about depression, you know, or, you know, to add to it. And then I just got a bill from the hospital too. Um, cause I get these severe migraines and I had to go there one day and it was only $150 or whatever, but still 150 bucks. Um, uh, but yeah, it, and, and they, um, but my insurance covered most of it, but it was like $3,000 and, you know, I still have to pay 150 of it, but it was like $3,000 and all they did, you know, they do is, and I, it was like 2,500 of it was just for the emergency room. <laughs> That's a lot of, just to go in the emergency room and they gave me the drips and for the medicine and stuff to, for my migraines. But yeah, it's just crazy what they charge. It's going to the, you know, but anywho, um, I guess I'm going to end it here. I'm not sure what else to say. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything I should look at or read or where you can get Bible journaling stuff and where to even start or tips or, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, thanks for listening to me babble. If anybody does, um, and if anybody can let me know where to get Bibles, um, that are easy to read and understand. Um, I, if you like this, which most of you will probably will be like, oh, okay, yeah, it's not really something we care to hear, but you know, it's part of life. But anyways, ring that bell, um, leave a comment, um, subscribe.